Korea ties over nuclear and missile threats thousands of workers at risk. S ambassador in the country has been told to leave and the UE will terminate its own envoys services in Pyongyang, according to a statement from the foreign ministry. The statement also said the UE will stop issuing new visas or company licenses to North Korean citizens. Several thousand North Korean workers live in the country, with many working on construction sites. They earn a significantly better wage than they would for the same job in their own country, but are forced to make so-called loyalty payments to Kim Jong-un's regime. These payments sparked discontent among North Korean workers in the Gulf region and Kim's government has sent security agents to patrol work camps and keep an eye out for people making critical comments about the regime. A 2015 UN report claimed that the loyalty payments made by more than 50,000 North Korean working abroad helped to bring in between pound 900 million. $1.2 billion, and pound $1.7 billion, $2.3 billion, a year for Pyongyang, while also helping North Korea avoid international sanctions. North Koreans working in the Gulf earn around £750, $1,000, a month, with about half being kept by the North Korean government and another £225, $300, going toward construction company managers, according to officials. That leaves workers with just £150, $200, for an entire month of intensive work. However, with annual income in North Korea believed to be around £1,280, $1,700, pound $150 a month can go a long way. The measures taken by the UE come after President Trump urged United Nations members to ramp up pressure on the hermit state to give up its nuclear weapons. The UE Foreign Ministry statement reads, the measures come within the context of its obligation as a responsible member of the international community to strengthen the international will and to stop the proliferation of nuclear weapons and missile programs. The announcement follows similar moves by the UE's Gulf Arab neighbours Qatar and Kuwait which last month downgraded their ties with Pyongyang and stopped issuing new visas to North Korean citizens. Tensions surrounding North Korea's threats continue to grow, with the country's foreign minister accusing President Trump of lighting with his repeated verbal attacks on Pyongyang. Ri Yong-ho, Yang Yang's foreign minister, hit out at the US president and said the tensions will not be settled with words. He said, with his bellicose and insane statement at the United Nations, Trump, you can say, has lit the wick of a war against us. We need to settle the final score, only with a hail of fire, not words.